Hello, and welcome to Last Watch, where we watch TV stuff. I'm with Bernard Meisler, and I, my name is Tony Duchesne, and this week on the show, we're talking about Midnight Gospel on Netflix. Hello, Bernard. Hello, Tony. How are you doing? You know, this, you, can, you can tell this is going to be a very special episode of The Last Watch, because I, I'm wearing a... Uh, purple and black striped t-shirt instead of my usual black t-shirt. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I, I didn't notice that. You're, you're, you're doing emotionally well in this shelter in place. It's, I, I don't know if I'd go that far. It's just, uh, you know, I just grabbed this t-shirt instead of the usual uh, standard black, you know. Remember yeah. in the 90s, they had Jerry Garcia ties? Did they? Uh, yeah, they, and they was like weird, awful looking pseudo psychedelic huh. splashes of color and they should have just done the jerry garcia t-shirt collection and i would have been all over that just black t-shirts you know but whatever well then anyway. well this week's episode sponsored by jerry garcia jerry, jerry garcia, garcia t-shirts <laughs> <laughs> an old dude who ain't around that anymore yeah. he died of covid like, could he rock that black t-shirt like nobody else sometimes oh yeah yeah so anyway midnight gospel um Spoiler alert, I don't think Tony likes this show, and I'm a little, I'm a little verklempt over this. I don't know. I think this show is freaking amazing. Uh, it's co-created by a, a guy named Duncan Trussell. Who I love. I, I love him, and he's the, he's the voice of the main he's, character. He's the voice of the main character, and he did a podcast called the Duncan Trussell Family Hour, <clears throat> and apparently they have taken most of the audio from uh, recordings of that podcast. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. This is why I don't like it. And this is what, that makes sense. Okay. Right. And then they were uh, animated by uh, Pendleton Ward, the, the genius Pendleton Ward who created the show Adventure Time, uh, which just wrapped up last year after I think seven seasons. Uh, did you ever watch that show, Tony? No, I watched a couple episodes and it's one of those shows where I'm just like, oh my God, I love this. Right. I need to sit down and watch the whole thing. And then it feels daunting and then I don't. Yeah. It's kind of like getting married. I'm just like, I have to get a ring for Adventure Time and possibly discuss having children. Yeah, so I, so th that's funny. So we're coming to this from uh, uh, opposite perspectives. I'm very familiar with Adventure Time. Um, there's a show that my, my kids are 22 and 19 and they were watching this when they were, you know, uh, like 10 and 13, they started watching. And it was like one of those shows that I could, <clears throat> one of the few animated shows that like I could sit and watch with them and like really enjoy, like SpongeBob was like that too. But uh, Adventure Time was even, it was just uh, incredibly weird and wonderful and, and strange and, uh, and, very influential, had all sorts of great guest stars over the years. But I'd never heard of Duncan Trussell before I started watching Midnight Gospel. I guess he's a comedian with a podcast. And, um, and, what I, and that's the part that I love about Midnight Gospel. I love the first seven minutes, six to seven minutes of every episode I adore. It's the setup, the premise, the, his little space drones when he goes out on his, you know, uh -huh. cats. And, um, and then we're in with the celebrity guest, and I'm lost. Really? Yeah. Anyway, okay. let's, let's hear more, about, let's hear more from uh, you. <clears throat> it will probably change my mind. You're good at that. Okay. But I still watched every episode of Westworld. <sighs> I'm guilty. I, I, I like it. It's like, it's like drinking chocolate, chocolate milk. You know what, Tony? I'll, 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 this is all I'm going to say on that. I started watching the series finale. I stayed all the way through. I started watching it a couple of times and went a couple of minutes and I was like, eh. And I went and watched something else. I, I haven't even, I'm gonna do it, but it's just like, it's one of the, I just don't even care. I just don't care. I, why, why do it? You don't have to do it. It's like well, reading the book where like, I've watched, is in and nothing. I've, I've, I, I've watched 29 fucking episodes of this show. I gotta watch the 30th and then I'm done. I hear they're doing three more seasons and I, I, I'm out. I'm well, they're, they're really opening it up, and um, someone wrote a really good article saying, hey, this is what happens when you have too many producers, too many directors, yeah. uh, a consensus of story, and it's not, it's not honed in by a team of writers or someone, yeah. you know, like, you know, let's look at Lost, J.J. Abrams, right? He, like, he took, he was the, he was the driver on that chariot, even though it kind of went a 
you know, the last few seasons been total shit bag. But that's network television at the same time. So right. you can't really well, <clears throat> we're getting off track here a little bit. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! The pro is the problem of Westworld is that Christopher Nolan has too much power, or is that it's just too dispersed over too many people? Because I think um, too much power is like True Detective season two, right? When uh, 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 what's his name? The the the, the uh, Nick Pizzolato Pizzolato. Uh, mm -hmm. they fired the director who was brilliant. And, and anyway, I just want to talk about Midnight Gospel for a second. Bring and it right the, back. Midnight Gospel. One of the things I liked about this show, so I'm just going to, this is just coming a little bit, uh, some stuff I grabbed off of uh, Wikipedia, but uh, so it, it revolves around a space caster, a video podcaster in space named Clancy, who lives in a dimension called the Chromatic Ribbon. Okay, right there. Thumbs up. Love the premise. Love right. that. So uh, the, uh, where simulation farmers use powerful biocomputers to simulate universes <clears throat> to harvest technology. Each, each episode revolves around Clancy's travels to planets within the simulator with the beings inhabiting these worlds as the guest he interviews for his space cast. So I love that they didn't even do that in the, if you watch the first episode, there's no explanation at all of what's going on. In the second episode, in the beginning, he has a fight with his sister. He's like, you t I, you, I borrowed some money from you. You told me I couldn't use it to buy a used universe simulator, but I don't care. I did it anyway. Now I'm going to go visit people and interview them from my, my space cast. So, uh, and again, the interviews are based on real interviews derived from Tricell's podcast. And the Which is where the show goes completely off the rails. It um, that the minute I mean I it's uh, I love the I love the podcast. I love the discussions, but the uh, discussions but are okay. Here's here's where I completely lose it when I'm watching a show like this. That I'm I'm into a I'm into this great concept, this great thing, and then I feel like it's the uh, celebrity ego takes over. And I didn't know that these were based on this podcast, but all of a sudden I'm like with Anne Lamont, who I adore, mm -hmm. and I recommend her. I recommend her work to all of my students a lot. Right. I don't want to hear her talk about death and life, and I, uh, I can watch her TED talk, and I hate TED talks. It feels like a <laughs> TED talk. Okay. It, here's where I'll come back at you on this. I, I I know exactly what you're talking about, but here's why I'm fine with this. First of all, I think. So the episode two was Anne Lamott talking about death. Episode one was, so they, they, he, he goes to these different worlds and he meets the, the first episode, he meets the president of a United States that's undergoing a zombie apocalypse. And isn't that Dr. Drew? It's Dr. Drew. Right. And they He's all like, about, fentanyl is bad. And you know, you gotta be careful right. about drugs. they're talking about drugs. I love, I love, and, you know. I love the B story that there's something else going on that he's fighting on. Right. Is it, the B story is great, and, right. but the other stuff just feels so preachy. And yeah, but that's one of the reasons. Okay, but one of the reasons I like it, I was just going to say, is that like during these uh, these people having like their kind of mini TED talks, there's the animation has nothing to do yes. whatsoever with what they're talking about. But then sometimes it circles around, and it does come back to what they're talking about. Crazy, insane animation. Uh, episode two was Anne Lamott. And she's rendered as a deer dog who eats like these little baby space clowns. And then she and Clancy are grabbed by some big machines and sent to like a meat harvesting uh, thing while, where they're being turned into some kind of like McNugget sludge <laughs> while they're talking about the meaning of life and death. Yeah. So I, I, I like that. I love the juxtaposition of the animation with what they're talking about, how it completely different yet sometimes ties in. Yeah. But also because they're mini TED Talks, right? It doesn't go on for more than 10 minutes. And I think- 10 minutes heard, too long. But, oh my. All right. If you've heard this stuff before- show, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, I, I, I've come to the point where I'm like, I'm just going to get to the end because I already know what this person stands for. I know what they do. And I, I just watched episode four with um, the woman who started it inside LA. So she's talking all about meditation and connecting with people. Right. And the minute she said, that's why I started in this side of LA, I threw my pen at the screen. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, great. I haven't go. seen episode I'm going to get a knowledge drop. This is, this, this is what I've been wanting, just another knowledge drop from some Angelino who I, I'll go to her classes, but I don't want to talk to her. Yeah. All right. All right. I see where you're coming from. Where, but uh, I, again, to push back on that a little bit, I, I, 
I think these little knowledge drops are, are great for people who have not had exposure to this before. I agree I with that. I think of this show with like, I, I, I was trying to put myself as seeing this through the lens of like, uh, you know, like a 14 year old kid or whatever, or a stoner in college who'd never been exposed to any of these precepts. And they're talking about, they get into, it, it, it's good because they're so short. They just go right to the meat of this stuff without like mm -hmm. dancing around for like six hours of a seminar or whatever. And they just go talking about, you know, meditation and Buddhism and life mm -hmm. and death and psychedelics. And I, I, I just thought it was, I, I thought of the, I, I thought it was just like a really great service for, you know, and it, and the, that part only goes on for 10 minutes. And at the end, there's some insane ending where the animation just goes blah and, you know. Right. Yeah. But and, 10 minutes is a third of the show. Yeah. Right? 10 minutes is act two. And it just, it's just a meandering pontification from D-list celebrities, which by the way, not that they would ever ask me on the show, but I would do it in a second. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I, I also have to say too that so the third episode but here's where we're getting a little bit away from ted talk material though the episode three he goes to the underwater planet and he's talking to the fishbowl man yes who is damien eccles and he was one of the west memphis three Oh, okay. That's why and I knew that name. And he's talking about like, oh yeah, when I was in prison, this is, I learned this stuff about meditation and people say it must've been terrible for you. And he said, no, actually it was, it was great. And like, I just, you know, was able to expand my, oh, my mind is blown. Cause that was my favorite episode so far as episode okay. three. Right. And, and I didn't realize it was, uh, yeah, this, so the West Memphis three were these three teenage, uh, older teenage kids who were convicted with killing, three like 12 year old boys or something like that brutally because they wore black and and whatever and then there was also there was like uh and part of the reason why i think they suspected these kids they were like 17 and 18 is because they were fucking around with like satanism or whatever they had some satanic symbols written on their like school notebooks or some shit like that so it's like oh they must be guilty anyway they spent 18 years in jail yeah and were freed in i guess uh 2000 11 but uh, uh 18 years and there's still there's still people who say they were guilty you know there they it's they, they, there were some bad aspects of the trial i guess and the trial was overturned the dna evidence turned out to be sketchy but nobody i don't think anybody else was ever arrested for the crimes. so some people say they were guilty but they they did 18 years and it was and anyway this was a little bit off te ted uh, Ted Talk material. Yeah. So he was talking about uh, Aleister Crowley and magic and. Uh, and that's why I love that one because I, that, you know, that's the one where I feel like I'm an amateur learner on. I'm like, I like I told you I'm taking my, I, I'm taking a tarot reading class. Yeah, there you go. My tarot cards. So I'm just, I'm such a beginner to that stuff. And when, mm -hmm. you know, when on episode three, they're talking about it, I'm totally in. So maybe I'm just a jaded old fella. But the other episodes, I feel like I need to get really stoned in order to enjoy it. Like, I, I need to watch the first seven minutes lucid, then just get really stoned. Well, you know, I was thinking, too, that uh, uh, this would just be amazing. This would just be amazing if you were, like, a 20-year-old college student, turn this show on at 2 o'clock in the morning while you're really fucked up and hadn't been exposed to yes these concepts, it will blow your fucking mind off, you know? Oh, if this, if this was, if this came out when I was 20, right. it would have, I would have been like, wait a second, what is that? Who is that? And I was doing that though. I was already doing that. What is that? Who is that? Right. And I was going to the library to find these things out, but right. it would, and that would have been a little more of a shortcut. I'd be like, oh my God. And then I would have went to the library and went, okay, yeah. so do you watch Midnight Gospel? You know, <laughs> yeah. can you show me the index cards for this uh, Crowley guy, uh, and also what's a West Memphis three in, you know? So. Yeah, so there's, a, I, I, so I, I, that'll be my pushback. I, I get where you're coming from. You heard it all before, whatever, but it, I think there's a lot of uh, uh, good information in there for kids. And also I like Dr. Drew, even in the first episode, they make a point, you know, like there's, I love that they're saying there's no such thing as bad drugs. There are drugs or substances, and if you use them in the wrong situation, they can be bad for you. And they, I like that he really made a big point about don't mix benzodiazepines with alcohol. 
Yeah, it's good things for kids to hear. I, 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 because ultimately, look, it's an animation show. It's an adult animation, but it's going to be watched by by kids. And that, and that's and that's what. See, this is the part where I get thrown out of it because if it's taken from actual podcast, I, I feel like the writing is great until we get to the conversation. Uh huh. And then and then I'm out of it, and I really wish they. I wish they would like take the take the podcast and go okay. Now let's write an episode around this person. So there's more than just a talky talk, 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 talk. I know they got the B story, yeah. but it, it, they, it, it could be more subtle. Yeah. That's what I would, would want. It could be more subtle. Also, it, just talk about the, if you're talking about the, the, the first act, the A story, which is Clancy in his trailer. He lives in a trailer. Which I love. And they're playing bluegrass music and stuff. You know, he's like some hill, he looks like a hillbilly and he's got yeah. this universe simulator. And, uh, and uh, it, it's, it, it's, I love the animation because it's this, again, the animation is in juxtaposition with itself. It's like very simple. It's very cutesy, you know, yeah. like that, like the second episode with like the little baby clowns and then like, the, then, oh, look, there's a deer dog. Look how cute he is. And the deer dog comes and like bites the clown's heads off and rips their entrails out. And uh -huh. so, and there's, and there's plenty of like cursing and what, so I, I don't know. I, I, I bet there's a lot of like five-year-olds who are watching this show because their parents don't know. So, oh, interesting. You know, uh, and, and, and think about like, forget about the 20 year old stoner. I think of like the five or the seven year old who's watching this show uh, and it will, you know, just completely just like bend their minds for the rest of their lives. So that's, that's yeah. why I love the show. The, the, those, I, yeah. I, I accept your, critiques i understand I, i'm gonna watch the first seven minutes of all the other episodes okay. and then i'm just gonna i'll and then i'll stop it all right, all <laughs> or right. i'll turn the volume down and just go oh that's how, i'll just watch the b story happen because <laughs> there's really no commentary on the b story you just watch it yeah i've also heard that some of the uh, later episodes are, are 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 better too than the first three i've just watched the first three so far so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it again uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on watching it, but it's just it's not a priority. Uh, I I need to watch Adventure Time before I watch this. I feel like Adventure Time is gonna be right up my alley. All right, folks, you heard it here first. An absolute must watch, says Tony Duchesne. Make it your top priority. What? It's the best, most important show in the history of the televisionic medium. Television. That, that's it. That's it. You know what? I'm gonna, I summed up your thoughts there. I'm make animation out of this podcast, and we're gonna start with a great first act, and then we'll drop into some cutesy talk of, and it's just me and you, and then we'll go out with a great third act. We, have we can have cats. Probably, we can have like cats on top of our heads or whatever. I, I love the cats, the underwater cats, too, in episode. The three. cats were so rad in, uh, in episode three, and yeah. then the the organ. They were playing the organ. Yeah. <laughs> and then like the little, like his fingers detach and like little pieces can sprout out from his like, I'm gonna watch, so I'm, I will watch episode three again. And it's, and I, I think maybe, maybe that conversation is just uh, more interesting to me. Cause um, yeah, it, it's just, I, I don't want I just, it's so hard to, uh, well, in storytelling, you want you want to just, you want people to kind of form their own opinions. You want, you want to be open enough and then drop the hints yeah. here and there so there could be a discussion about it. And I don't feel like there's any room for discussion. It's just like um, they come in with uh, creativity and then it's like fact one, fact two, fact three. Well, yeah, no, it's, I mean, but that's, that's the limitations of the medium. It's very, it is very 101. And if you like read Anne Lamott books, you're not going to be impressed by hearing her give a, 10 minute overview of her entire life and career, you know, but I guess, yeah. I, you know what? I'm just a jaded asshole. And you that's here first, I... folks. Tony. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we've got a, I, I'm, 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 I'm full, full on, you know, uh, two thumbs up. Tony's uh, thumb sideways, thumb sideways. Uh, so, you know, Check it out for yourself. Tell us what you think. Uh, and, and also, if you've never watched Adventure Time, give Adventure Time a whirl. And uh, I'm going to go listen to the uh, Duncan Trussell podcast now. Yeah, I like that dude a lot. I, I, everything I've listened to, every time I hear him talk, he's got such a distinct voice. I'm like, oh, wait. And I listen. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening to our TED Talk. And we'll see you next, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Goodbye.